Okay, for this problem, construct a scatter diagram using the data table to the right. This data is from a study comparing the amount of tar and carbon monoxide in cigarettes. So it says use tar for the horizontal scale and carbon monoxide, CO, for the vertical scale. And determine whether there appears to be a relationship between cigarette tar and carbon monoxide. So you can see if you can eyeball it that's certainly okay but i really recommend trying to learn how to use StatCrunch. so i'm going to open the full data set in StatCrunch. okay so there's the data we want to create a scatter plot so we're going to go to graph and go to scatter plot so we want to select the x variable and it reads use the tar for the horizontal scale, so that's the X, and the carbon monoxide for the vertical scale. So for the X, I'm going to do tar, and carbon monoxide for the Y. And we can skip all these other things right now for this first one. You can certainly play with those and click Compute. And there is my plot. Okay, so let's see which one this looks like the most. Um, it's definitely going up, right? As tar increases, so does the carbon monoxide. Looks a little bit like this one, not quite so in the middle, so it's definitely not B. Let's see if I can move this around a little bit. Definitely not C. Let's look at D. Let me move this over here. Okay, I'm, looks like it's closer to D, right? Because I've got this little bunch here in the middle. So I'm going to go with D. And notice how D and A compared. Here we have it going up and down this way. It looks like if you switch the tar and the carbon dioxide, you probably get, get A. So, D. Good. Is there a relationship between cigarette tar and carbon monoxide? So definitely appears to me to be a linear, a linear relationship, not only just a relationship. So as tar increases, so does carbon monoxide. Notice we have to say yes, and they also have a reason, so make sure you're clear. As the tar increases, so does the carbon monoxide. Okay, I well, hope that helps.